everyone, welcome to our Crazy Life Scotland and a little daily vlog. It is Wednesday the 11th of November today, I think. Um, and I'm not really up to very much, but I just wanted to come on and say hello and have a little catch up, see what's going on with everybody. Um, and just to make sure you're all okay really, because I know that for a lot of you, you'll be in pretty much a full lockdown again. So I just wanted to make sure that you're all okay, not struggling. Um, just let you know if you want to chat about anything, you can always email me, that sort of thing. Um, we're not too bad here at the moment. We've not got too many restrictions, but you just never know what's around the corner, do you? Um, however, the COVID rules are still affecting us in that at the start of last week, I got an email from Abby's school to say that Abby had been in close contact with someone who had tested positive for COVID. And that meant that she was gonna to have to self-isolate for two weeks. Great. Um, it said that everybody else in the household can carry on as normal. Abby doesn't need to get tested unless she shows symptoms but she does have to self-isolate for two weeks. And I'm thinking, it just seems crazy. It just, how do they decide the cutoffs and things? And then she wasn't very happy because I had to phone her. She was meeting her friend after school and I had to phone her and say, look, you need to get the bus back because you're meant to be self-isolating. And of course, for a 16 year old who wants to be socializing, it's hard for them to get their head around the fact that they're not allowed. Um, and when she came in, she had spoken to a few of her other friends and it turns out that it was someone on her school bus who had tested positive. Now, this person had been on the bus once in about the last fortnight and they all wear masks on the bus and she didn't sit anywhere near them. So it just seems crazy. Every single person on the school bus had to isolate. So when you think about that, that was all the high school kids from our village and our next village along, all having to isolate for two weeks. So not only have you got the impact that that has on their mental health, but also their education. Because now that everybody's back at school, they've not got online education in place. So Abby's doing her hires, which means she's got like really important exams next year and the hires, which is, I don't know what the equivalent is in England, is it A-levels maybe? Um, they, those exams are going ahead, but the, the Nat 5s that she sat last year aren't going ahead. They're doing it based on um, class assessment again. But her hires are going ahead and that's two weeks of school that she's missed out. She's got her prelims after Christmas as well. And you think... It's okay saying, yeah, it's plenty of study time, but it's not because she's not learned that much yet since going back at the end of August. Um, plus, there was a two weeks October holiday, so there's really not a lot for her to study, but there is a lot that she's missing. Her maths, she's resitting her Nat 5 maths this year, and she has been studying that. But again, there's only so much she can do without help from the teacher. And personally, my own personal opinion is that the schools went back too quick. I hated having them at home, not because the kids were at home, but because I felt so much pressure for homeschooling. But I would rather they were at home with a course to follow than being at home without anything to follow. And when we thought about it, I was talking to Abby about it and she was like, you know, over the summer when the kids were still off school, things started going back to normal and the numbers were pretty steady. But then after the summer, when all the kids went back to school, that's when the numbers started rising again. So to me, a lot of it is to do with the fact that the kids are back at school. And at first they thought that kids couldn't get it, but that's rubbish. I mean, um, people, kids from Brooks School's been off with it. Um, teachers from her school's been off with it. There's loads of people from Abby's school been off with it. And to me, that's where the problem lies. But anyway, I'm not gonna rant on about that because we all know how bad a situation it is and I don't need to keep rubbing it in. Just to let you know that we are being affected by it as well. Um, poor Abby is missing out on school and being with her friends, basically. I am back on keto again. I have been since Monday, so that's this is my third day, woo! <laughs> I'm struggling. I am really, really struggling, folks. At every 
every year at this time I start to struggle. I don't know if you're all the same. Regardless of what diet I'm on, when it comes to this time of year, I find it so difficult. And what's making it even harder today is that Abby is going to be making cakes um, just to keep herself busy. So she's going to be doing her maths in the morning and then this afternoon she's going to be making cakes. And I so want them because I'm not sure where what videos it was that she saw, but they look amazing. So I might uh, film a wee bit of her doing that for you. Um, but I want to eat them. So when she was talking about making them, I said, well, go and make it near the end of the week so that I can have the day off keto on Saturday and I can taste them then. At least I'll have something to look forward to because I've decided that I'm definitely going to stay on it until Saturday. I'm going to have one day off on Saturday and then straight back on it again on Sunday just to try to keep myself on track at least until the start of December. I haven't weighed myself. I didn't want to depress myself anymore. It's bad enough that I had to go out and buy bigger jeans at the weekend. That's all I need to know. The number on the scales won't tell me anything different. I'm getting bigger again, so... But then I keep telling myself, but you've got all next year to worry about that, Fiona. It's like the, the bad devil and the good angel talking to you on each shoulder, isn't it? It's just so difficult. Anyway, it is now ten past eight, so Brooke is just seeing Tizana, her bearded dragon, before she goes to school. She always um, holds her for a wee while at this time and then feeds her and then she gets her hands and everything all washed and heads round to school. Granny Annie will be coming in for her coffee at half past nine as always. I'm back intermittent fasting again as well, so I'll have my coffee at half past nine. And then my plan for today really is to be in the craft room most of the day because it's getting to that busy time of year for crafters. And I've got, I've mentioned before, I'm doing an advent swap with someone. So basically, um, the crafting community organised by my lovely friend Christine has been given partners and we're putting together 24 little gifts and numbering them 1 to 24 and then swapping so that every day someone's going we're, we're all going to have a little crafty gift to open so i've got everything for laura and i need to get it all wrapped now and get her card sorted because i'm going to meet her on saturday socially distanced we were hoping to meet for a, a coffee and a good blether because we've never met before but we've chatted quite a lot over um messenger and things and she stays not far from where my mum lives and we're having to go through that way on saturday anyway so i said to her look we can't meet for a coffee because of all the restrictions but do you want to still meet up just for two minutes to say hello swap boxes and uh, then that'll be that so i need to have it all sorted for saturday and i barely started making a card and I haven't started wrapping any of the gifts so I really need to get on with that today that is my plan but um I will blether to you as the day goes on let you know what's happening right so I'm gonna head off now and I will catch up with you in a little while here's granny Annie hello 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 it's coffee time so we're sitting putting the world to rights and having our coffee and the dogs well Clyde is impatiently waiting for the dregs aren't you son Rana's just being pathetic. Look at the Is state of you. Look at the legs swinging. Are you a big bear rug? Are you a big bear skin rug? And Willa's had her biscuits, so she's happy. Yes. Yes. But I was just about to tell Granny Annie, and I thought I'd better film this, because there was a Christmas miracle last night. I'm talking a real, live Christmas miracle. Tell me, tell me. I was sitting in the living room with Jack. We couldn't decide what to watch. He put on, on the 10th of November, no. the Christmas Chronicles. Shut up. I even got it on video. So I'll put it in here to prove that last night we were watching the Christmas Chronicles, the 10th of November, and he did it. Jack McCall, it's a trouble. Christmas miracle, wow. <laughs> and it was good. I just happened to mention to him that the second one's coming on on the twenty fifth, and the next thing it was on, and I'm like, you realise you pressed play and not back. He went. 
Eh, the Grinch is near Grinch. And I think I persuaded him to go up the loft on Friday afternoon to get my Christmas stuff down so I can decorate my room, my craft room. Oh, wow. Because, look, I've got the little bare tree sitting there. But I oh, might, look at that. I know. That I might make some decorations for that, I think. But I want to get all my other Christmas things up here. Yay! Right, so it's 20 to 1, and you, as you can see, I am surrounded by crafty things. Look at the tissue paper everywhere. Um, I have actually finished the box. Don't look, Laura, don't look. I've still got day three to wrap up and put in because Amazon said that they had delivered it yesterday, which is when it was due. However, um, the parcel that they said it was in with, there was definitely only one thing in the box. So whether or not it fell out, I don't know. But I got in touch with them today and they said, not a problem. They're going to send another one and it should be here tomorrow. So when that comes tomorrow, I'll be able to get that wrapped up. Look, I've got my, my little number three tag here waiting for it. Um, and then once it's in there, I'll finish the card, put that in, and then I'll get it all wrapped up because... <laughs> You know me, I'm very resourceful. It's a skinny food co box that I've put it all in. Um, it makes more sense. There's no point in going out and buying a box when I've got a box sitting there. So yeah, look Laura, look. Ooh. <laughs> so yeah, I'm sitting here watching YouTube while I was doing this. Hey, I've been drinking Pepsi Max all day because I'm desperate for something sweet. It doesn't help that I've had chocolate all around me. Um, I'm really, really struggling with my eating, really struggling. I want chocolate, I want all of the chocolate. But I'm staying strong so far, I'm staying strong. I'm going to go and have another coffee. And uh, then I think Abby's going to be doing her, uh, making her cakes. So that'll be fun, Rannick, won't it? Oh, very flattering angle. <laughs> very flattering. I just came in to check on Zana, as I always do. Brooke always insists that I come in and check on her when she's at school. She's always fine, but it's nice to check anyway. So I thought I would just let you see her, because she's not seen her for a while. She's getting big. Hello, Zana. Hello, darling. Are you a good girl? And look, she's got a fancy new carpet now. She's got carpet instead of substrate. It is a proper reptile carpet. But yeah, there's Zana, Brooke's bearded dragon. Hello big girl. There's Abby in her oversized Walla jumper. I love it. Um, right, so what are you making today, Abby? No bake Nutella bars. No bake Nutella bars. And where was it that you saw the video for it, the recipe? TikTok. TikTok. I might have guessed. I might have guessed. Right, get all your ingredients out. Right, while Abby's tidying up, because Abby is tidying up, I need to show you this. Look. So I've got a delivery today, of course, Amazon. This time of year, there's going to be like 20 Amazon parcels a day, probably. But this box was also there. And it said, a healthy planet makes for happy blooms. And I'm like, what? Perishable product inside delivered today. What? And I looked on this side and it says, just for you, Bloomin' Wild, hand-picked. And I'm like, I certainly didn't order anything like that. I um, certainly did not do that. No, I certainly did not. So I opened it and I saw that peeking out. And I was like, ooh. So I opened the card and it says, To Fiona from Anne and John. So Jack's dad and wife have sent me some gorgeous flowers. So I'm just going to open them and then I'll show you. How cute is that? It says, shh, your flowers are sleeping. There's a guide inside to help you wake them. Oh, that is so cute. And I open it up and look. Is that roses? I know nothing about flowers. Yes, that's roses. I don't know what these are. I don't know what these are. Oh. They're a bit flattened. Hopefully they'll uh, liven up a bit once they're... Oh, oh. I've not got a vase. I've definitely not got a vase. I never have fresh flowers. Hmm, right, gonna have to find a makeshift vase. Okay, don't judge. <laughs> the only thing that I've got that is suitable for keeping flowers in is a blender jug. <laughs> I promise I'll keep it away from the blender. I won't have flower soup. But I think that's the only thing I've got that's big enough. I never have fresh flowers, so I don't keep a vase. Hmm. So there is a guide telling me how to arrange them, which is good because I know nothing about flowers. So, our stems. We have got a rose and we've got snapdragon. Ah. 
Okay, I can't see me having a career in flower arranging anytime soon, so uh, don't be holding your breath for that. However, they're gorgeous and it was a really nice thought of Anne and John, so thank you Anne. I don't think you'll watch anyway, but if you do, thank you very much. I'll put them on the window ledge, hopefully they will bloom beautifully. Um, I should probably get Jack to sort them when he comes in because he's usually better at these things than me. And on the plus side, I can use this paper for my craft. This paper's perfect. And the ribbon. We don't throw anything out in this house now. And let me have a look, see if there's any info from them. So if anybody's interested, it's got hashtag letterbox flowers and it's bloomandwild.com. This is not sponsored. I had absolutely no idea I was getting this. It's just a gift. But isn't that lovely? What a lovely thought. So yeah, I'll get Jack to fix them properly later, probably. But I'll show you them in a few days' time when they've had a chance to sort of freshen up and bloom properly. I bet they'll be gorgeous. They already are, but I bet they'll be even more gorgeous. <laughs> also, in amongst all those parcels was a letter for me and Granny Annie. And I know what this is. I'm so excited. My lovely friend Christine has sent this. Now, Christine is my life and hobbies here on YouTube. I talk about her all the time because she's lovely. Um, and Granny Annie organises a winter festival every year for kids who basically not got much. And it is a charity thing. And they were wanted, they're having to do it very different this year. But you'll see that during Vlogmas. But what they did need was some stickers to put on the parcels for the kids. And I thought, well, I'll ask the lovely Christine if she can do them for us. The lovely Christine, being the woman that she is, the absolute gorgeous human that she is, refuses to take any money because it's for charity and because it's for kids. So she has done all of this off her own back, using all her own equipment, all her own um, materials, ink, paper, everything, without taking a penny. So thank you so much, Christine. I am going to open it up just now and let you see. Right, she sent them in a beautiful envelope, so I'm not going to open it right now. I'm going to get Granny Annie to come in and I will film her opening them because really they're for her and the Winter Festival Committee. So let's have a look at Granny Annie's face when she opens them. Right, so it's the stickers from Christine. I'm for excited. your festival. I'm so excited. Oh my god. Are they nice? That is so beautiful. Is it? Love it. Let me see. Oh. Oh, oh Christine, they're brilliant. Really, Clyde? Oh, she wow. did say that it was small. She had to do them smaller than she had wanted. That's perfect. But they're still perfect, Christine. Oh, they wow. are gorgeous. Merry Christmas from Camel Winter, Winter Festival. Festival. Oh, I love the wee snowman and snow lady. Hi. Oh, oh do you like them too? <laughs> oh, they Happy. are gorgeous. They are Over lovely. the moon. Thank look you how so much. easy they're going to be yep. to come off. To take off. Because oh, it's going to be, you're going to have how many? 200 parcels? 200. So, yep. The kids are going to absolutely love that, Christine. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. We certainly appreciate we it. We certainly and do. And so will our readings and Oh, Cameron. they certainly will. Yay! Happy. Happy, right, happy. So all my autumn decorations are all packed up in a bag, ready to go up the loft, or hopefully Friday, and for Jack to bring my Christmas stuff down. But look, the couch looks bare without any blankets. I'll need to put that Christmas one on there. And I've taken my autumn pictures down that I made and I've just put some Christmas paper on the wall just now to hide all the sticky marks where the pictures were. So I will have plenty of things decorating this anyway that you won't really see it. Got my gingerbread candle. Oh, will I burn it? Will I? Will I? There we go. I can't tell you how good that smells. You can probably smell it from where you are actually. It's so nice. Oh, on that. Clyde can smell it. He's like, oh, I can smell gingerbread. How nice is that? Yay. So, yep, that's all that organised. Abby has just cut up her cake and it looks amazing. I've decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that as a separate vlog because I've got way too much footage. It would be, it would make this video too long. So I'm going to film tomorrow's one as well and just put that up as one vlog. Um, 
And when I was tidying up there, I found some ink for the printer that I don't use anymore. It's brand new if anybody wants it. So it's an HP printer. I can't remember what kind it was. But that's what the cartridges look like. So I take it that's for the... That's a code for the printer. 364. So it's XL and it's yellow, magenta, black and... I, I never know how to pronounce that. Is it cyan or cyan? I'm not sure. Blue. So if anybody has a printer that's compatible with them, now it's not proper HP cartridges. It is a sort of remanufactured, not counterfeit. What's the word I'm looking for? It's like, it's been recycled and it's not official HP ones, but it's the ones that I always used and they were fine. So if anybody would like these, please let me know and I will send them to you because I've got no use for them and I don't want to throw them in the bucket because that's just a complete waste. So if you want them, let me know. Right, Brooke will be in very shortly and then I need to go make dinner. Talk of the devil. Oh, she's just a second in the door, not even got her jacket off and she's trying a bit of the cake. What do you think of it? Have you tried it yet? No. The dogs are desperate. They want to cuddle you, but you're not. <laughs> Clyde, you can't get a cuddle. Wait till she's finished eating. Is it nice? Mm. Is it really nice? Mm. <laughs> I can't wait to have a bit. I've got a bit wrapped up in the fridge for Saturday. Oh, Clyde. You're not getting a bit. Oh. Then when Jason tell her. Yeah. So, how was school today? Hell. Hell? Why? Math test. You had a maths test? Mm -hmm. Right, how did it go? 38 questions of hell. 38 questions of hell. <laughs> how do you think you've done? I didn't know half the questions. You didn't know half the questions? That's okay. But that's the whole point of that test, to find out what level you're at. It's not a pass and fail or... It'll be to find out what level you're at for going up to high school, probably. You have to do it at P1, P4, and P7. Ah, right, okay. And the P7 will get handed into Hermitage. Mr. Arthur will explain it all. Like, um, it's no pressure, but it is quite big. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> no pressure, but. <laughs> oh, well, did you do your best? Yeah, it was on the laptop. Well, that's all we can ask for, as long as you've done your best. Right, it's only half past three, but I'm hungry, so I'm going to get dinner organised. Um, I'm having, or we are having, the Asda burgers with red onion and cheese. Now, these are suitable for keto, um, because they're gluten-free. They've not got any of the crumb or fruit or anything like that in them. And for... 100 grams, there's only 2.7 grams of carbs and there's just over 100 grams per burger. So they're ideal. So I'm going to have one of those with a slice of cheese and a fried egg, I think, because I saw Tracy, the Mad Scots last, she was, I was watching her Meals of the Week and she had, a, I think it was some sort of pork patty with the fried egg and cheese and it looked amazing. So I'm going to have that. And Jack and Abby are going to be having the burger with sweet potato fries, which I do love, but they're not keto friendly. And some mangito, or mangito, which I think sounds like a female disease. Mangito. Anyway, so, yep. Yeah. And Brooke is going to be having her microwave burger because she doesn't like real burgers. And she's having fries to go because she doesn't like sweet potato fries. She's so awkward. So I'm going to get these on just now and I'll show you them when they're ready. Right, so dinner is ready, except I got distracted feeding the dogs and helping Brooke with her homework and forgot to make my egg. <laughs> so I've got two slices of cheese now uh, with the burger in between and I've got some as that extra special cheesy coleslaw. And here is Jack's. Jack's got two burgers, some munch too, and sweet potato fries. Now, he might want some cheese and he might want some coleslaw, but I'm not sure, so I'll wait until he comes in. Um, it won't be in for a wee while yet, so I'm going to cover this up and then heat it up when he comes in. But that's it, all ready to go. So, I think I'm just going ahead and end this vlog now. I'm going to have my dinner and then chill out. Um, it's been a busier day than I expected, so hopefully it's been a decent vlog for you. Like I said, the 
footage from Abbey Bacon I will put in a separate vlog because it was quite funny. I don't want to cut too much of it out. And um, yeah, it's been a good day. So if you have enjoyed this, please hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to talk to me in the comments below. Don't forget, I'm still looking for questions for a Q&A session during Vlogmas. So please put them in the comments below or email me or... Um, message me on Instagram. All the details that you need are in the description box. So if you would please get in touch and let me know what you would like to know. I will sort that out during Vlogmas. Right, I'm going to head now. Thanks so much for watching everybody. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!